maybe I'll just quote from Nevada or something and be like, riding a bicycle. For a trans woman, riding a bicycle is the most free you get. I don't know why. Just like speeding along and it doesn't really matter. Nobody can like get a good read on you. <laughs> maybe because you're going too fast. And like your life is actually in control. I love riding my bicycle. Um, and sex. I feel free during sex. <laughs> Meditating. I spend a lot of time um, meditating. And so it's a, like these moments for like having a meditation practice for me is um, I mean, these little moments, these little moments, these little tastes of like what, what would it feel like to, to, to be free? Like those, that happens sometimes while I'm sitting and or helps me recognize the times that that's happening in my like active life. So the times that are most transcendent are usually dancing. I'm shy, so it takes me a second, you know? But like in these like sweaty queer environments, um, I feel pretty open and free where it's like, there's a lot of wild stuff going on around me. There's almost like this feeling of a portal opening sometimes at the gay dance party, queer dance party, whatever it is, this like sweaty pit of people that makes me feel free and um, making art makes me feel free. These moments of either connecting with other people or like connecting with like being able to try to translate your idea out of whatever tangle is going on on the inside, that moment of translation, the moment of connecting either to yourself or the outside world or to other people. That moment of freedom if when you're driving and there's no one in front of you and there's like no one in back of you and someone on the side, usually it's Patches or usually it's Shelly and Noodle. Always Shelly and Noodle, always pups and queers. Um, and just knowing that, you know, we don't know where we're going or we know where we're going, but we don't know like what adventures are there or what's, ex what's in store for us. I think that's a moment of freedom. Being in nature and just being able to kind of have my own space, right? Because I think being in nature is a public space, but then like once I'm able to like calm and feel grounded, it's also my personal space, and I feel pretty free in that um, like nature realm aspect. I feel most free when I dance, uh, when I'm eating something really delicious, and it just like touches all those things that like remind me of like like home and life and love. So when I'm eating something someone made with love, I feel free too. I think the first time I really felt free was um, when I learned how to ride a, a motorbike. And I was driving around this small island uh, off the coast of Vietnam. And the sun was beating down and the wind was in my face and I'm like, blowing past cows and I was like, this is why people ride motorcycles. I feel really free. This is amazing. I feel so free. I just remember feeling so free. And then I remembered why Vietnamese people wear long sleeves and gloves when they drive motorbikes because I was so sunburnt <laughs> afterwards. Because I was driving around for hours going, this feels awesome. <laughs> when I am interacting with anyone, you know, a person in the world, like I can feel like free to hold hands with them or hug them and I am not aware of like people's eyes on me or them. Like there's no question or no wondering of um, basically what other people think or whether they notice us at, at all, you know, so that that's, those moments are, are I think taken for granted but I, for some, by some people, but that's when I really feel free. I feel free when um, I have options. 